think maybe we all need a little bit of perspective. So remember that time when you were last going to be sick, right? You're up in the middle of the night and you're pretty sure you're going to be sick. You're waiting to be sick. Then all of a sudden you get that hot, sweaty thing and then you're sick. But it's not over yet. And so for a little minute you feel better, but then you know you're going to be sick again and you just have to wait for it. And then you get the hot, clammy thing and then you have to bend over the toilet and then you're like, uh, 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 and you're going to be sick. And you kind of the next morning or whenever you get over the being sick, you say, oh, I would rather be, I'd rather die than be sick like that again. I'd rather die. Or think of another time when you've been really, really poorly and you've got through it and you've thought, oh, I felt so rubbish. You don't feel like that right now, right? You're not being sick right now. You're not really, really poorly right now. You're probably pretty well and healthy. Life is pretty good. So remember that. Let's not look for future COVID that might do this or the number of cases that might do that or what number will it be that means that you will do this in the future again. Maybe we could stop looking to people in cheap suits that call themselves politicians to tell us when we're all going to be scared and ill and sick again. And maybe we could be happy that we aren't being vomity sick or from my point of view, I haven't got my arms double dislocated with epilepsy. And in fact, life, if you're pretty much OK, is pretty much brilliant. Perhaps we could all agree just to cheer up a little bit. And when we take our masks off, we could all smile a little bit and look strangers in the eye and be happy to see each other just on the basis that we are alive today. God knows what's going to happen tomorrow, but for shitting hell's sake, we're alive today, so let's be happy for that.